Yeah, it looks good. All right, we're back with Dwayne. No. Oh, did you um, see the lightning? Oh, a lightning flash again. Yep, we um, took a small intermission because of my hiccups. The, the cure to hiccups was playing Paw Penny game a over million times and over and over, so and wait. still having nowhere near enough for the uh, the actual prize at the end. Now I forget what we're doing. Weren't we trying to find the three locations or whatever? Actually, oh no, we did that. It was, uh, I used to just go inside and talk to people. There's nothing on the checklist to do. Because hmm. we helped them out or whatever. Yeah. <sighs> New request? More... Have you seen Scott? Not since we got Did he do it? There's a huge front coming in and he's nowhere to be seen. This is not like Scott. If you see him around, will you let me know? Chase and Frosty and I are supposed to be leaving for the Grange hmm. soon, and I really What's Frosty up to at the Grange? An eye on these fronts. <laughs> these fronts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Meanwhile, <laughs> in Frosty's lair. Mm -hmm. Frosty's lair, it's like Gruntilda's lair, except instead it's his. Oh, nothing. See ya. Got the cumulonimbus clouds, and I am going to roll. <laughs> when I go in my basement and look all of my cloud pictures, you never know what you're gonna see when you look into all the clouds. Because when I rope out all day, it relieves my hiccups, and I just love it because it's good. Oh wait, there's something in there. There's a paper sticking out that wasn't there before. Mm, I wanted to check that voice piece or whatever again. Oh but, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I don't think since it does we anything. came here, Brooks what's this? Paying Scott off. Ping. Who? You fulfilled your end of the bargain. My team, something is. Oh, my team. Sorry, my team is bound to win now. Let's meet at the agreed upon location oh. this afternoon before the storm hits. I'll bring your payment. Don't forget the final terms. Are you disappear until my team has officially been named the winner? Location site, review the surface charts. 45 plus the dew point and continuous moderate rain. 85 degrees plus with either light hail, no thunder, or severe thunderstorm. Which, okay, that's where they put thunderstorm like that. With hail, find dates. Oh, is, is this, this a task might, for us? Yeah, I think this has to do with the calendar. Can we try and do it? If you want, yeah. Um, what did they say? I'll see if I can give us some direction here. Okay, so the, the next part here, um, okay, so, uh, the meeting location, okay, go down the cellar, look under the laundry tub, laundry tub between the washer and dryer and see the weather symbols. Is that a piece of paper? Oh. I might have even taken a picture of it. Okay, uh, yeah, this is it. The storm weather symbols, 63 is moderate rain continuous. Symbol is made of three black circles. Yeah. 89 is a light hail, no thunder. This symbol shows two triangles. Wait, what does it say underneath? Uh, does it say that exactly? Light hail, no thunder. Oh, so it says what we're looking for. Yeah, yeah. So we just have to look at it and find that, I guess. In this case, yeah, it's the two triangles look like arrows. Uh, one's dark and the bottom's an open triangle. The final one was 99, which is severe thunderstorm with hail. Like a B with an open triangle on top. Okay. Check the symbol for the open surface charts white folder. The bottom shelf behind Frosty. Oh. oh symbol I for the open surface chart? I shouldn't have left. I think I oh, know. Oh, wait. I think it wasn't the thing we saw at the very beginning of the game. We are like, oh, this is going to be a puzzle. Yeah. That? Yeah, this. Okay. All right. Look for the three storm symbols. 45 plus the turn. They are found on the dates. Does the date... Oh, it does say the date. Okay. And it lists which the dates are. Go back to Scott's office and check the calendar. Then type in the letters on the dates taken from the chart. And it tells you what you get for that. Okay. So it spells us a word or something? So yeah, you'd count... Um, so we're looking for those three symbols? 45... Okay, well the first one looks like it's the three circles, right? The um, three dots. This one? Yeah, the 2021. 20, yeah, it should be on 3, 8, 21, and... 30, or sorry, 
26 is the last one that has it. 3, 8, 12, 13. Oh, okay, I see. So what we have to do now is write down all those dates. And then we have to look at Scott's calendar and see what the... Um, the letters on dates. each of the dates would be, yeah. Can I write on this receipt? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Did we not have notes for this game? No. This paper, uh... Is, is from Which the last one? game. Oh, it is, yeah. From 21. Waverly. Yeah, so I figured I'd just... And this is, like, the only note we have to do, so... Yeah, essentially. Okay, so um. you said three, but write down the date. Yeah, so March 3rd. Uh, f March 3rd, 8th, 18th. 21st and 26th are the dates we have to remember. 23rd, you said? Uh, no, 21st and 26th. Okay. And that's it for March, but the next page should have more, which is this one, April. And for this one, we need to look for the other symbol, which was, I think, the triangles? This triangle? Uh, oh, actually, wait, no, this is also the, um, the, uh, the three circles. Why is it just the circles and not the other stuff? Okay, I guess we just have to look for the circles now. Not sure why we need the other symbols, though. So you mean the three circles? Yeah. Because they should be on April 3rd, 6th, 10th, 23rd, and 29th. But... On 3rd. Oh, wait, oh, it's all the symbols. Okay, that makes sense, because, yeah, the 6th is the two triangles as well. Um, yeah, the 10th, uh, the 23rd should be the next one. And then finally the 29th, and that should be it for April. What about, why not two? Two? That has the same symbol. I'm not sure, actually, yeah. Um, it doesn't list it on this. I don't know why. And, that, and also 16. Oh, that, that one I can see is different. You see it has oh, a line on it? Oh, you're right. Um. Is it because it's on a dark? Twenty. I'm not sure why they don't include the second one, yeah. And then Does it have to do with the wind speed? So it's due to, and we put down 29 as well. Oh, right? it's if it's, I guess it's if it's 65 degrees or higher, or 85, I don't okay. know. Okay, well, but how about the, this one then? No to 29? 29 is good. Oh, 29 is good, Apparently. okay. Although I don't know why 2 is omitted, logically. But. So we have May to go as well, right? Yeah, and this one apparently is pretty simple. There's only 2 on this uh, entire list, which are the 6th and 12th. Not the ninth? Nope, apparently not. This was three. Yeah, it's it's not listed here. So this puzzle isn't super clear either. No. Okay, so you said the ninth and twelfth? To be honest, even before like I don't think we even would have got to this point of knowing the symbols. So, yeah. And then knowing you also have to correlate that with the calendar upstairs. Oh, what's up? I've harassed you enough. Frosty. See ya. See ya. Yeah, okay. I can kind of see where they were going with this puzzle. Whoa. Oh, that's the radio. Okay. Uh, okay, so now let's check the dates here. So we start with March, right? And March 3rd. 3rd, so that's a W. 8th. Uh, the 8th is a uh, M. 18th? Uh, 18th is um, a 9. 21st. And that should be A. And then 26th. Oh, um, 26th is, uh, G. Okay, and then April 3rd. April 3rd is a V. 10th. Then a 2. Oh, actually, oh, sorry, um, wait. Oh, did, did we do the 6th? No, I didn't write that one down. Okay, yeah, that one's there too, it's a, okay. that one's the 2, sorry. 2. And then C is the 10th. C, and then the 23rd. 23rd should be an H. And then the 29th. Uh, or sorry, did I say H? I meant... Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, I heard did H. We, did we miss some? But anyway, uh, but yeah, okay, S, H are the next two. And then 4 and A are the last. Okay. And then from there, we have to go back to um, the pictures that had the letter and number combinations on them. Which are down here on Frosty's collection, and then we have to oh, find yeah. which ones have. We those knew that symbols. these would be important. Let's see. Uh, 
What were they again? We're looking for M WM. Oh, there's a lot in here. Oh, wait, there's one. Okay, one of them is a windmill. Okay. Next is, let's see, the GV one. Yeah, GV. Oh, wait, that's... Oh, oh did we out. already... We're rubbing out! <laughs> uh, oh, here it is. Uh, it also looks like the windmill. Are they all the same? They're all the windmill? Is that the... Yeah, they are, yeah. The main point? So we just have to go there? So this was all to triangulate his location? I guess so, yeah. Go... Okay, so that's the meeting place, I guess. It's the uh, windmill. So we're gonna go confront him. I guess so. Damn. Can you talk to Debbie before you go? That as well? seemed pretty complicated. This Hi. Yeah. Might be significant. It'd really help if you found Scott. He has all my rats. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> mm -mm. How about Chase? Can, does, oh, yeah. Let's does he have him. anything? Frosty didn't, so I don't see why Chase would. Yeah, it's weird Frosty hasn't had a whole lot of dialogue outside of the car where he never shuts up. <laughs> oh, here he is. Hey there. You've been spending Ooh. all your spare time around here trying to find oil, haven't you? Uh oh. Oil? Why well, I've been doing no such thing? Where'd you get an idea like that? I've been doing no such thing. Yep, he did not sound sincere with that. I'm sorry, you're right. I have no right to make such an accusation. Wait, what? Yeah, you do. Oh, he admits it anyway. I picked a nice option. I should have known I wouldn't get away with it. Lying and conniving and sneaking around. They just don't come natural to me. My mama raised me just too right. Everyone seems to have a dramatic moment where they, like, admit that they did something wrong, but they feel bad about it. Yeah. Like, Frosty did, Chase now. If I found some, try to get my daddy to invest in little real estate. Debbie hasn't had a huge reveal. But she was with Frosty. Yeah, I guess that's true. So what should I say? Do you really think you could just find oil using an oversized stick? <laughs> Did you really think you could find oil using an oversized stick? It ain't no stick. It's a divining rod. The one I took from Paul's isn't just any divining rod either. Used to belong to Charles Hamilton. It's that stick that made him the richest man in the It's stick. Stick. My great granddaddy saw an action one. Oh, okay. So he is guilty of something. Theft. Yeah. And Frosty was guilty of selling things illegally. So everyone's guilty of something in this game. Of course, when I started digging, all I ended up with was puddles. That's because of Scott. He's the one messing stuff up around here. He's a jinx. And that's the truth. Listen, okay. I'm truly ashamed of my behavior, Nancy. I will apologize to Pa for taking that divine route first chance I get. And I know it's highly unlikely, but should you and my mama ever cross paths... His mom? I'll keep this to myself, but... You do we ever do that? Is that... With me. What's his last name, I wonder? You know, come to think of it, I guess I can't rightly say all the bad stuff that's been going on is just bad luck. Like when I checked out the lightning rod on the farmhouse to see why Scott's phone blew up like that. Okay. What to discover? Instead of being wired to so any lightning that struck the house to be directed to the ground, this here lightning rod oh, was intentional. inside the house. Mm. I had a feeling that was somehow intentional. Or the TV or the fridge. Someone just wanted to do some damage. But you're sure it was wired huh. that way on purpose? Either that or this thing was put up by the world's dumbest electrician. <laughs> I better God get going. So is it Scott or Debbie then? Bye now. Well, we're gonna go find Scott, and yeah. then maybe Debbie will show up. Maybe they're a duo, like Big Mike and Pua. <laughs> Aloha! Or they're just the culprits. I mean, Healy Healy was mentioned in this game. Nancy! It's us again! We weren't here the entire game until now. Time to do another f game of 4D chess. Yeah. <laughs> so to the windmill, that's right. Yeah, I guess so. That was still our thing in there from last time, the same waypoint. Yeah. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to go on. Oh. <gasps> Whoa. Out of the way. Oh. oh, I did a whole, like, bar of damage there. Yeah, and I think I... <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Driving has actually <laughs> been fun in this <laughs> game. <laughs> yeah, I actually don't mind it. <laughs> Where's that song? No, pomegranates! 
Oh. A big semi just, like, dragged our vehicle, and that was it. Mmm. <laughs> this might be the last time to play that, so... It might be. I don't think it is, though. Oh, okay. They just make it sound like it's the... The f conclusion. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, wow, that did no damage, huh? Oh, there is. Okay, we're here. What's gonna happen? We must have picked the wrong spot. Hmm? Uh. Is there anything on our task list that's not done? Scott's letter. Haven't done that. What does this say? Uh. Figure out what the symbols on Scott. Does the game not think we've figured it out yet? <laughs> Did they know? Was there something we were supposed to do to trigger that? Ooh, it's like two all over. Yeah. You didn't have the pencil. Use the computer and type in the type in the letters, numbers, and the dates. Oh wait, okay, go to his office again and look at the calendar. Apparently, we have to actually type this in with it. Oh, I see. Yeah, on the other side there, we had to type in the answer instead of just say it. Okay, well. Are we typing in windmill or. Oops. How do I click on it? There we go. This is be capitalized. W. M. 9A? Yeah. Uh... GV. 2C? Okay, and what's next? And let's see. 5H4A. Oops. That should be all of them. WN. Two C. Oh, there we go. Okay, we just got it. It was also an S instead of a five. Oh, it was. Yeah, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, so now we should be able to go to the woman. So we're taking the car instead. Or wait, maybe we have. Okay, might just be safe to go back in for a second. I wonder if the game doesn't know that we've also figured out the next part of comparing it to the pictures. Just to be safe, we might have to also trigger this. Looking through these pictures, and then Nancy be like, "Oh, I know what this means now." These symbols match Scott. There. Oh. If we had gone to the windmill, I feel like it wouldn't have triggered anything until we saw that. Dang. They don't like walkthrough users. They don't. <laughs> There should be one more then, right? Yep. These and the last one. The windmill. So now the game knows we know, and now we can go do it. So something about Scott and windmills. Can, yeah. Can you also talk to Debbie on the way out? Yeah. There might be a... Oh, Frosty! <gasps> Is he the... Oh! <laughs> Where'd he go? Ooh. Is <laughs> Wait, he might just be roping out in the bathroom. <laughs> or is he aware that we found out? Maybe. What's going on? I thought you were supposed to be at the theater right now. Change in plans. Scott's gone, and we've got a major storm front moving in. Okay. He's been gone for a while, actually. He left in the truck. He's got all of our equipment, and he's not answering his phone. That makes sense. It does? Yes. I found a note yes. in Scott's office. He's been meeting with Brooke, and she's been paying him off to sabotage the team. That's where he is right now. What? What? No. What? Why does she put her hands up like that? I'm gonna have to deal with that later. It doesn't matter right now. What's important now is that we keep on top of this storm. With the way conditions are developing, this front could produce the strongest weather we've seen this season. Frosty is gonna blow his load immediately upon arriving. <laughs> oh, baby! <laughs> I think I might be able to track the storm using our old methods, but this would be so much easier if we had our equipment up and working. You need Which we'll have to do, probably. Consider it done. Wait, Nancy, that's not what I meant! You work on tracking the storm, and I'll work on tracking down Scott and the equipment. Oh, we just have to find it? Okay. At least make sure you stay in radio contact. And if things start to get bad out there, I want you to promise me you'll head to his shelter immediately. I promise. <laughs> that was the most, like, <laughs> uh, uncaring I promise I've ever heard. I promise. I promise. Okay. So now, uh, windmill Maybe time. anything else? Is Chase here? Or is he gone? Oh, he's gone oh. too. Oh. Interesting. So it's not Debbie then? 
I have no clue. Well, I'm most suspicious of Scott because of all that damning evidence we saw. Yeah. Although it's kind of weird if you like saying all this build up towards that. And then, like, what reveal is he gonna have when he gets there if he is the culprit? Like, Well, I just remember the. I think it was the 8th game, or. Or not the 8th. The, I think the 7th? Where there was damning evidence of Emily? Yeah, there was, but it was, like, right before the reveal, though. But, uh, and I completely disregarded it. I thought maybe it's oh. still someone else. Nancy, oh! What are you doing here? You mean me, as opposed to Brooke? 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 What are you talking about? When I was fixing the phone jack, I accidentally overheard the phone conversation you two had. Accidentally. I hear it through the headset on your desk. And just what do you think you overheard? Enough to know you two are working together. Is he going to try killing us? I don't team, know. Haven't you? You've been doing everything you can to make sure Brooke's team wins and yours loses. That's ridiculous. That's why you're meeting her way out here. Wouldn't he win more money, though? All this time oh, yeah. And see her paying you off. I have never gotten the credit I deserve for the work I've done. Okay. I know more about tornadoes than any person That has to do with his tenure yeah. getting revoked. the compensation people half as brilliant as me get without lifting a finger. Why? Because I work for a podunk college run by podunk incompetence bent on badmouthing and spiting me at every turn just because I don't play well with others at their idiotic staff meetings. Why don't you just quit? Because thanks to them, I'm considered impossible to work with. No other school will hire me. I'm stuck here, and they know it. So yes, I've been sabotaging my own team. And yes, Brooke is paying me a small fortune to do so, because I've had it. I'm through. Wow. I wasn't expecting him to get that angry. Holy shit. That's pretty cool. It's going to be huge. And here you are, a novice out in Holy shit. I actually really like him as the culprit. <gasps> He's just getting, oh! setting us up. He was be forceful. Killed. Yeah. What's going on now? Are you tied up or, or something? Wait, you can just leave? Oh, he just... Oh, I thought he was going to, like, tie you up and, uh... Like, let you get caught with the tornado. When I confronted him about selling the team out to Brooke, he went berserk. Damn. If that is it, yeah, if he is just the culprit, which seems to be the case, I'm actually kind of happy with him being the culprit. Because you remember early on, like, when he was doing his dialogue, you're like, wow, is he just, like, given up or whatever? He has, and he's fucking raging at it. His character is really interesting. Kind of a... It's kind of a sad... Loony. Yeah, at the same time, like... It's just, like, he's had a rough go with life, and he's pissed that no one appreciates his talents or whatever. But anyway, I think Grange Theatre is where you're heading now, which is a new waypoint on your GPS. Huh? Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, Grange. This uh, destination. All the way in the bottom corner. Bottom left. Okay. And what is this Grange? Is that some new meeting location? Yeah, it's where everyone else was going, I think. Are we gonna see Frosty? Oh, I hope Frosty, like, rushes up to Scott. Like, hey, you interrupted my roping session! <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, what's oh. this? It's actually a nice looking house it's right here. Chaos here. Tornado shelter. Oh, the sirens are going. It's locked. Scott in there? Oh, is he? So this is the final puzzle? Or is it? Oh. We have to get in. Okay, this is... If we fail... Then everyone dies, dies, except Scott, right? It, can you look around the area? Is there some item you need? Oh, wait, what are the keys for? Oh. <laughs> if you fail, everyone dies! The keys, unlock it. Okay, oh, okay, this part needs some. Look at that panel on the wall there. Okay, so... Oh, this? So, what is this now? Who would pick the right key? The Nancy, quit, quit it's like Pajama Sam, you gotta find the one key that opens up the thing. Can you turn it? No? Is that not it? Uh oh! I think we're dead. That was quick. The good news, lightning rarely strikes the same place twice. The bad news, one time is enough. Okay. Wait, so lightning killed us? I mean, I guess, yeah, tornadoes do have lightning, but... What is this now? Who would double lock a storm shelter? There was a puzzle like this in 5, too, wasn't there? 
You just have a bunch of keys and you have to find the right one. Yeah. Remember that. Oh. Oh I wait, to... that worked. It did. Oh no, it didn't unlock it, but it worked swapping them out. You gotta get closer to it. Is it the last one? Oh, okay. Oh. Nice. Scott. Up. Wait, what's going on? Okay. What about where's Frosty? Did Frosty get caught? <laughs> that would be so tragic if he's dead. Oh my god. I hope not. <laughs> Help, I'm roping out! <laughs> you know what, though? For Frosty, that would actually be a death he'd enjoy. Because he loves clouds and tornadoes so much, if he died in the process of it... Damn. I think you have to leave now. Nancy, where are you going? Get in the shelter! Okay, never mind. Just let Scott get away. Oh, we have to chase him down! Okay, the mandatory, um... Chase sequence, which I saw coming. Okay, I'll leave the normal music on. Yeah. That is sad, honestly. Wow. That's not what it sounded like when I overheard you talking to Frosty. You two wanted to get Oh, confront. Can you drive right now? No, okay. Yeah, Scott tried sabotaging him, right? We saw his fucking uh, box knife in the office. Wait, what do you mean by that? You pushed him into this? So you're partly responsible then. Yeah. Okay, now you can probably drive. So you have to find Scott? Something about a GPS. Is it that arrow on the bottom screen there? Is that showing where he is? Oh, if I oh, hit that. Oh, there's debris. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, uh, Scott's getting away. I can't move. Wait. Soft. This better not be a soft log. <laughs> How do you get out of here? Oh, wait. Okay, there you go. Oh, jeez. Damn. Okay, looks like he's in the bottom right now. Oh, whoa, there's a twister. Oh. Oh, this street. Uh oh. Oh, whoa! We're roping out! <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be. Knock, knock, who's there? Debris. Debris, who? Try again, you got clobbered by debris. Best knock, knock joke I've ever heard. It's At least like that's uh... one my sister told when we were younger. It's like, knock, knock, who's there? A door. Door, who? The door's open, why are you standing there? <laughs> that was the joke. But yeah, what were you gonna say earlier? Oh, just that. Uh. Even though we died, we got a unique An, uh, death. death message. Whoa! Is that him? That's him! Mm. Chase him down. So it is like catching Marion, basically. It is. They re oh, oh, he boy. messed up. Oh. Is he going to crash? Dude, you know what would be really actually tragic here? If he died here. If he crashed into something. No, that wouldn't be tragic. He deserves it. That would be probably one of the darker endings if that happened, though. He's evil. I think you might have lost him here. Oh, there he is. Okay, still got him. Oh, he, oh, he went left. Yeah. Now he's up, I think. Yeah, okay, I think the path you're taking is good. It's still up somewhere. He's been roping out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's roping out! Oh, here he is! What the heck? What he drove into do? us. Do we just have to wait? Do we have to ram into him? That'd be pretty cool, actually. Several times. I don't know. That's just a guess. I, I didn't really look too far ahead in the walkthrough. I didn't want to spoil. I mean, he's got a bigger vehicle. Theoretically, he'd be able to do better. Oh wait. Ooh, we trapped him. What's that? Ooh, a cutscene. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, there he is. Oh, we actually do have to get in here? Don't help him, he's a psychopath. Does he have something on him? Oh, damn it. Oh, what? Yeah, we gotta find some way to get that open. 
The bad news, you were hit with a barrage of high-speed debris. The good news, Frosty took some really cool pictures, <laughs> so that's kind of a silver lining, right? <laughs> you know what? That's the best good news, bad news we've seen so far. Scott! Scott! I'd better find us some shelter. Oh, so there he is. Yeah. Is he knocked out? I think so, yeah. So how do we... Look around here? Is there some... Oh, wait, I saw something. What's that? Oh. What was that? Did we still die? Yeah. That's it. That was very quick. Yeah, record breaking amount of storm data. The bad news. Did I say data? I meant injuries. That's what it said. I think we got that one before. Okay. Oh, wait. Can you open it? Oh, okay. Just open. Sorry. What's it? Oh, we're going to be eaten by rats. The rats. <clears throat> Isn't Scott afraid of them? Oh, or he yeah, doesn't he like might. them? He might be, yeah. So, is some kind of revenge torture? Made it. Made it. Dear Ned. Once oh wait, that's the just it. Was successfully evacuated. Debbie and Chase were able to follow the GPS tracking signal to the spring. So yeah, the culprit was the first person we met again. Although he was pretty serious. That's two games in a row, I think. Scott came to in time to see Frosty arrive with the police. Frosty arrive with the police. Oh, he's picking up the trash. Carrying with public safety records. He didn't fare so well with a college. They fired him quicker than lightning hitting a beach. So his life is even worse now. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like he'll actually be serving the community now instead of just pretending to. Even if it's just by He I feel like he'll be a really spiteful villain though. I feel like he would totally try revenge if he had the option. He totally could be because uh, it's like your life's bad and then it's we make it worse. even worse. Yeah. Because now he's not making any money. He's just a freaking, yeah, trash collector. And she gets away basically scot-free, too. No pun intended. Really? I thought she was just eating rats all day. All she ever did the entire time was make us do all the work. The next generation of Crowmeister storm tracking and detection equipment. Which we had to assemble for her. Oh! <laughs> I want that to be the thumbnail. <laughs> that is brilliant. <laughs> That's the best ending I could ever see. He's launched his own business. His business in cloud wanking? Oh wait, Chase is showing his new computer game. Oh, wait, no, no, no. This is them finding Frosty's pictures. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what the heck is all this? <laughs> Looking. Debbie's disturbed by it. I don't know. Debbie looks kind of intrigued. Maybe she's into this too. Oh man. He's become her right hand man. Last I heard, he was going to assist Debbie in her classes in the fall. And when I got home, I found a surprise delivery candy. The first shipment of my lifetime supply of Coco Kringle bars. From Paul? Oh, lifetime supply? Sent me a note telling me to keep yeah, where is Paul's epilogue here? A surprise trip plan for me as a way to say thanks. I surprise trip? Place where the clouds stay in the sky like is it going to be to is Japan? It Japan? Yeah. For the next game? The winners of the Green Skies event won't Frosty looks <laughs> so happy. Things are looking pretty good for Debbie's team. With the new equipment, I mean, with Frosty on your team, <laughs> you've got it figured out. Can't go wrong. Yeah. Well. Touchdown. Touchdown. Oh, wait, here we go. Hey, Nancy, I need you to come back down and clear out more mice. <laughs> No. Oh, town play, okay. Oh, we're in the play? Oh. Hey, you know what? I want to see that. <laughs> but nothing will top Frosty's smiling holding <laughs> <laughs> the camera like that. Well, there we go. What is hanging from the tree outside the farmhouse? A what? Oh, tire swing. Oh, That's yeah, the yeah. the first thing we saw. Yeah. When I was thinking of tree outside the farmhouse i wasn't thinking of that tree yeah i just thought like right in front mm -hmm. i just know that's one of the first things we saw in the game was the tire swing and it didn't have any significance i guess not until, until now question. yeah so what awards did we get go to the next page big spender when price doesn't matter oh we had to spend a lot easter egg super sleuth snooping in every corner that's what that was for those tiny corners <laughs> Storm Spotter for tracking down all the clouds. Oh, for Frosty. Wait, Sweet Tooth. Repeatedly sampling the candy. Oh, we oh. had to eat more. What else do we have? Candy dispenser sweetening the days of others. Yeah. Couch potato watching TV instead of sleuthing. 
Glass half full for looking on the bright side. Homesteader staking claim to your lands. Oh, for playing the mini game a lot. Oh, good. Okay. Quiz whiz for acing the test, which we just did. Sightseer repeated touring of the OK Plains. Storm spotter. We could have easily got the Sweet Tooth one and Big Spender. Had we just known to do that? Yeah. Uh, but the every corner thing, yeah. An Easter egg. Storm Spotter was way too tedious to do. For every corner, I bet we were pretty close to that. I, how much you bet we just missed like one? I bet. Probably. But, okay, that's still pretty good. We got how many? Uh, out of 12, one, two, we got three, four, five, seven. Six, seven? So more Not than too bad. half. That's, the Easter egg was... That's the 999 mm, one. That was like take forever. impossible. Yeah. We knew how to do it. It just would have been really time consuming. After risking my life chasing down deadly oh. twisters, I think it's time for the rising sun. Oh, they painted Japan on too. And George on their trip to Kyoto, Japan. Oh, they're coming with us. You never see them. Oh, they're there, but they're always like in a convention nearby you, and you can never go in there, and you have to phone them anyway. So it's not really going there with them. So we're there because of him. Okay, that's interesting. Also, none of this is actually in the game, these pictures. I guess it's really? concept art, yeah. Quite pretty, though. Especially that one, holy crap. I think I saw a ghost girl in it. Uh oh! Oh! Oh boy! That's creepy audio. Is it an animatronic? Well, we'll find out. Next adventure, Shadow, Shadow at the Water's, water's edge. edge. Game 23, which we've been looking forward to. Because of the music. Yep. Oh, oh we're going to see all of Frosty's pictures. No, wait, these might be the ones we took. True, pictures we took for Frosty. Well, that was Antitude 22, Trail of the Twister. I guess, should we give our final thoughts on the game? I think so. While we're on the credits? Would you like to give your thoughts first? or? Uh, sure. Uh, a decent amount of the puzzles uh, were tricky. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I feel like this probably gets a zero at a walkthrough for me. Ooh, zero? I have to say, I've, I felt we needed the walkthrough pretty much the whole time. No, way. come on, you have to give it a one. We did the gophers. Okay. There's, yeah, there's some we did legit. One is fine, now that I think of it. Yeah. But, I mean, thinking about, like, the way I kind of thought about the walkthrough thing is that almost each use of it takes it down a point, and we well, definitely mean. used it more than five. Yeah, well... And a lot of the time, we used it just for... Well, actually, this game some, sometimes needed more than a little hint. Yeah, even just with the direction. Tobias Frosty Harlow. His name was actually Tobias? Interesting. So he's just... Small observation there, but okay. That's his nickname, Frosty. Huh, wow, well, okay. But Frosty. The, he the games was might amazing. not have been great, but the Frosty was one of the best characters. Yeah, like, that's the thing with me. I'm really polarized on this game because I have to admit... From a design perspective, this game is not doing too great um, in the way the puzzles were... I mean, a lot of the puzzles you could probably figure out without a walkthrough. The last one, though, was tricky. Oh, I, I technically I did all the rat puzzles. Yeah, that, the rat stuff we did. A lot of it I'm sure you could do without a walkthrough. So you know what, yeah, now that I think of it, I won't give it a zero. I think maybe a two yeah, is more reasonable. Yeah, two is fair. Um, but um, uh, yeah, the game design, and there's a lot of repetition, and a lot of, hey, Nancy, do this chore... Oh, are we getting oh. bloopers? Yes, I think so. Frosty bloopers? <laughs> oh, I want to see that. The blooper is him in the middle of roping. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, oh, the minigun? Yeehaw! Oh, what's this? The money! Oh, what the... Huh? What the heck is that? Wait, that was from the Spot the Difference game in 19. That uh, dinosaur. There you go, oh, little guys. Good luck in your new home. Okay. How wow, it's, you are it's quite a bit. <laughs> I was hoping someone would pop out of the ground and be like, "What are all these rats doing in here?" <laughs> this is Elsie's first time as a driver Whoa. on the Oklahoma circuit, but already she's showing Elsie's? To be a driver. Is she the cow? Mm. Whoa! Oh! Oh yeah, we can never go on the other side of that. Or was that Grange? Might have been Grange. <gasps> oh, you th yeah, it might have been. Yeah. Oh no. Cow's a better driver than we were. Excellent performance today. Only one question remains: How did she get a car in the first place? The question that is puzzled generations. <gasps> 
Pa. With the wig? Wait, this is the, the dance mini game from uh, Venice, isn't it? With him instead of Nancy. <laughs> Oh, it is! <laughs> they need to do this with every Ew. character. I want to see this with Frosty. But you know what? Actually, Pa is probably the funniest choice they could do here. <laughs> He's busting a move. <laughs> yes, yes, sir! Nancy, clean them rats! Oh! oh. <laughs> Doing the banjo bow. Is that okay. Wow. Yeah, those are good bloopers, actually, but, um... Uh, I guess to summarize their, our thoughts on the game, I still, like, I really enjoyed this game. Mostly, and I have to admit, mostly because of Frosty. He made it so funny. And it's, it, the thing is, it's almost not so much the actual game itself, but our interpretation of the game yeah. that made it really good. <laughs> it's more so our doing. Yeah, like, we really injected a lot of humor into this that wouldn't have normally been there. But it's weird, because we don't do it that much in other games. No. We don't do it to the same extent. Yeah, not to the same extent, but... I mean, we do little bits here and there, for sure, but... Yeah, I mean, I have to admit, too, like, on our first session playing this, I laughed harder than I have in a long time, and I was just having a great time. And if any game can make me get to that point, then it's a great game, in my opinion. It has to have some kind of good rating, yeah. Yeah, so I love the game. Um, even though, I have to admit, yeah, the design wasn't great. I am thinking this will probably be a C in my books, because the way I wrote the tier list, I had, like, C is slightly flawed design, but enjoyable with a walkthrough, <laughs> I think that's pretty applicable to this game. Without a walkthrough, I think it would have been really frustrating to solve some of those puzzles. Um, and I feel like another critique, and I don't want this to seem like it's too negative of a critique, but I've noticed how much the game designs have changed from the early games to now. Because I was thinking back to like game number three, where you're exploring the mansion, and it's like, oh, Nancy, you gotta clean the the ceiling tiles or whatever. Yeah. Maybe you can find a chisel. So you find the chisel and you clean the ceiling tiles, but there's a secret door underneath. And you remember that. And then later on when you're exploring, you find a key in the cash register in the basement. You're like, oh, there's a key. I saw a lock. You click it open, it opens. You go in the attic. You find some stuff. It's like, okay, we're making some progress here. You're looking through the hallways and you see the broken dumb waiter that needs a weight to fix it. And then when you're in the attic, you find the iron, which you can use to tie to the rope to fix the dumbwaiter, and then you get a piece of tile. Then once you have all the pieces of tile, you can put them in the library study, pull the lever, and a secret door opens. It's almost as if the whole game was structured like a big puzzle. You're finding little pieces of the puzzle along the way, and you have to investigate and look around different places and pick up items to use in the environment to solve puzzles. It almost seems like that kind of style of game is gone here, and now it's instead a bunch of self-contained puzzles that are put at you with a very high frequency. It's uh -huh. like, okay, Nancy, do this chore, and it's one really complex puzzle. You finish it. Okay, Nancy, do this other and chore. Then do that. And then another really complex one. It's almost like you kind of want to get through the puzzles to get on with the story, but at that point, all that's left of the story is just more really complex puzzles after each other. Ghost Dogs had that. Oh, yeah, I, th I sure did, yeah. Ghost Dogs, almost the whole game was a really long puzzle, puzzle. with the, the forest and all but that. But they also just... When we were ready to do story, and then they cut they you off. They stopped us. Yeah, which I feel like has become too frequent at this point. Like, almost the whole story of this game. I I remember early on we were like, "What's the story again?" We didn't really know what was happening until maybe t an hour or two in. Yeah. Um, whereas in the older games, it was more understandable. Like the very first game, for example, Jake Rogers is murdered. Find his murderer. Piece of cake. That's how the story goes. Or a second game, there's death threats being sent to Rick Arnold. Who's sending the threats and why? You have a clear-cut question, and you find little pieces of the story along the way. Like on the computers, you could snoop around people's offices a lot more, which we yeah, could we do a little bit here. we didn't get to look at Debbie's space. No, and I know in the last game we couldn't really snoop on Kareen's computer. I feel like that's a huge thing they're missing in the recent games. Like, the ability to really snoop at people's uh, areas when yeah. they're not there. And then you find these really things. And there's a little bit here, like with Scott's office. But nothing to that extent of the old games, I feel. Which... I hope they go back to that a little bit in the future games. But well, you already know, though, don't you? Yeah, Based I know on some of the other a games. Fair amount. Like I played 23, 24, 26, 28, 29, and thirty, um, and there's little bits. But honestly, I feel like the design is still pretty much the same as it is at this point, except twenty five seems drastically different in a good okay. way. But I haven't finished it. And there's still so twenty seven. Twenty seven. Uh, thirty one and thirty two. Uh, I think, are those the only ones I haven't played yet? At this point? I guess so, yeah. I'm kind of excited for 27 too, because I know very little about that one. Kind of like this one. Right, but uh, for now, we'll be playing 
23. Three we'll go into next, yeah. And you've already beaten that one. Yes, I have. So. Yeah. And it was good. It was good. Um, I was considering telling you what my score was on it, but I also thought I'd wait until we beat it. So you don't affect I don't, like, I don't wanna, my yeah, rating. Yeah. Exactly, which I try not to do with them. Although I have to admit, in some of them I gave you an impression, like with 19, I said, um, maybe I should tell you this, maybe I shouldn't. That my sister and I thought it was the worst but game. But I'm pretty sure I found out for myself while playing. It was, yeah, it kind of happened just anyway. bad. But, you know what? Yeah, I guess to summarize my thoughts on this game, though. Um, I really liked it. It was fun. Puzzle designs could be a little better. But I like the ideas behind them. Um, and again, the whole Nancy do this chore thing was probably at the highest it's ever been in any <laughs> game. Uh, I really want to give the game a B. To be honest. Well, yeah, I'll look it over. I'll look it over in my list because, I mean, if you want to give it a B in your list, yeah, absolutely yeah. you can. Um, but I'll look at the things because I think it'll do pretty low in terms of like walkthrough and puzzle design. Well, not so much puzzle design, but game design, certainly, which also I've kind of intertwined with that. Those two will be low. The lasting appeal will be super high. Characters, I think, will be decent. Uh... I liked the setting and atmosphere a lot, actually, and I feel like they could have done a little more with it. I liked how it started raining and thunderstorming near the end. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. Well, I know in the last game, it snowed. Yeah, it did, yeah. It started snowing in Waverly. Um, and I like it when they do little subtle things like that. So I think the atmosphere, as the games go on, is still really solid. I think atmosphere is one thing that's never really gone down in the games. It's always been good. And I know for certain the next game has an incredible atmosphere, the 23rd one. So... I mean, I can only say good things about that. But, um, in any case, yeah, uh, Nancy Drew 22, Trail of the Twister. Had a lot of fun with this game. We had so much fun with this, just laughing and having a good time, and uh, I'd totally be down to play it again in the future. We'll see what's next. Yeah, but for now, we'll wrap the game up here, and I guess we'll go on to uh, Shadow at the Water's Edge uh, next time. So, that'll be really fun too, I hope. <laughs>